African descent. He fought on the side of the United States against the British for independence and freedom in the United States. So nobody could say we didn't fight for That was at that time. Let's bring it on down. Because some of you are racist, unfortunately. And you do not accept anything which is not Eurocentric. I like to mention that a man by the name of Alexander Russell Webb went to the Philippines in 1888. He was an envoy from the United States to Manila, Philippines. He embraced Islam. He came back in 1893. He began to propagate Islam all throughout the America. He changed his name to Muhammad Alexander Russell Webb. He developed an organization called the Muslim, American Muslim Brotherhood. He established a paper called The Muslim World, and he propagated Islam in the America. So therefore, a white man, a former Republican from Missouri, was the first one to propagate Islam in America. That's longer than Donald Islam movement. That's longer than Ikna, Nas, Ishna. That's longer than all these other organizations. And that was done by a white man who was a white American who went to Manila, Philippines to convert and come back to America to propagate Islam. And that's not enough for you. In 1930, a man by the name of Sufi Abdul Hamid he came to New York City and he saw racial discrimination existing and he said to his black folks because he was black black American he says to him, don't buy from nobody who don't hire you don't buy from nobody who don't respect you he boycotted white businesses in New York City he got black folks jobs that was Sufi Abdul Hamid. And he was one of the early founders propagating Islam in America. So when we talk about Islam being anti systemic, have no place in America. I want you to tell that story and remind those people take a look it's in your book. And this is not the reading really great. Lastly, I would like to say that Islam has a way of life.